doing well. Today is another vlog. It is Sunday again and the weather has turned out so much better than what it was supposed to be today. It was supposed to be cloudy and rainy and now it's like sunny and we haven't had any rain at all. I love it. Um, today is going to be a little bit of a self-care day. Last Sunday was kind of a reset. Um, if you watched that vlog, um, it's uploading right now. So obviously it'll be up before this one is. Um, but yeah, last Sunday was definitely like a reset day because I had just been feeling like junk for a couple of days. And today is a little bit more just like self-care. I start back up my very last class of my certificate program tomorrow. Uh, so today is the last day that I don't have school until like late September, I think. Oh. <laughs> My ring is making a reflection on the wall and Maya is playing with it. That's really funny. I also have the windows open because again, the weather is really nice. So hopefully the sound is not too much of a bother. But yeah, today is just gonna be a little bit of an easy self-care day. I made a nice healthy breakfast of some oatmeal. So I feel good, like I'm taking care of myself. Um, obviously I've had lots of tea, still working on this mug. Yeah, I'm just going to spend the day just kind of doing some easy, simple self-care. A couple of things will look a little bit the same as like my reset day last Sunday, so hopefully this vlog isn't too repetitive, but um, I'm gonna go for a long walk, especially now that the weather is looking so much nicer than I expected. Um, I am going to fix my nails <laughs> because they are a disaster. I want to read. I totally failed on the reading front in this last week or so. Um, I'm just, I'm so far behind and I just want to like finish the books that I've started so I can move on. And summertime is usually when I really get into my reading groove. So I have high hopes for this. Um, so I want to read. Um, maybe I'll combine my walk and my reading and I'll go to a park to do that. And yeah, just a couple other little things to just kind of like pamper myself a little bit. Addressing the elephant in the room, I cut my hair. <laughs> and I mean that quite literally. I cut my hair uh, last night. I posted up in the bathroom and I took some scissors and I chopped so much off. I guess I didn't measure it, but it's probably like a solid four inches that I took off. I'm looking up in the viewfinder like, I think my hair was like down to here. So like I cut off a significant amount of hair and frankly, I did not feel any like hesitation or regret or anything like that. I've cut my hair before. Um, it wasn't quite as drastic. I don't think my hair was as long at that point, um, but it was a similar length to this. I thought that as soon as I like made that cut, I'd be like, oh no, but I was just like, yep, this feels right. And as soon as I looked at the length, I was like, yeah, this is what I wanted. Um, I feel really good about it. I have wanted to do this to my hair for so long. I think I mentioned it in last week's vlog that I was considering doing this and I finally, I did it and I feel so much freer. It did take a couple of hours. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and insert the footage that I filmed of cutting my hair last night right here. Hi, so I am getting ready to cut my hair, which most people would probably say is ill-advised, but I feel pretty confident about it actually. I'm gonna be following Brad Mondo's technique, which I've seen variations of kind of all over YouTube where you basically like tie your hair into sections and use the hair ties as guides. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be cutting it pretty short. My kind of like haircut inspiration is Ariana from Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> I'm just become so obsessed with shorter hair and my hair is just, I got a haircut in February or March and it was my first haircut in a year. I got my haircut really short last February. It was chin length. Um, if you watch my Ireland video, um, you'll see how short my hair was there. And when I got it cut just a couple of months ago, um, I just had her trim it because I wanted to grow it longer. I was liking it, but it's just like not doing, it's just, it's not working right now. So typically you'd probably want to straighten your hair before cutting it, but 
all of the hair that I'm keeping is already straight, so it doesn't really make sense to like straighten these ends that I'm just going to cut off anyway. And my hair salon doesn't open back up until July 1st, which is actually later this week, but I can't, I haven't even looked on their website to see if I can get an appointment. And I kind of just like don't want to pay for a haircut right now anyway, so I am going to attempt it myself. And um, that's mainly because I'm not trying to do anything crazy with my hair. It's just going to be like a very simple bob pretty blunt not like a lot of layers i'll like kind of texturize the ends a little bit but um i don't think it's gonna be that complicated <laughs> Maybe we'll come back later, but I do need to charge my camera. So yeah, um, I wasn't able to film the whole thing, obviously, and that would have been boring to watch anyway because it was just hours of me like putting my hair back in the little ponies and then like pulling up like my mirror and checking in the back and just like making teeny tiny adjustments. Um, my perfectionist tendencies really uh, suit this particular <laughs> activity. Um, I've had my hair short before, this is nothing new. So related to my self-care day, part of what inspired me to do this was a couple of things that I got um, from Target recently. I needed I needed like dish soap and like a couple of other things so I placed a Target order and um, I got some kind of like beauty item so I'll show you I'll show you what I got. So the first thing, this isn't all that interesting but this was just a replacement of my body wash. Um, I've been using the same body wash for a couple of months now. It is by Puracy. It is the bergamot and sandalwood scent. I don't know why I'm like tripping over these words. Um, I really like this brand. It's made in the USA, um, based out of Austin, Texas. It is free of sulfate, synthetic fragrances, dimethicone, silicone, parabens, and other garbage. That's literally what it says on here. Apparently there's more stuff on their website. Um, but yeah, I like this. The scent is really nice and it's also really, like it's a really light scent. It's not overpowering, which I really appreciate. And which is typical when you're getting naturally scented items rather than like synthetic fragrances. Um, the next thing, I've never gotten anything like this before, but this is a shampoo scrub. So it's like a scalp scrub. Um, this is by Love Beauty and Planet. It is a charcoal and bergamot. I love bergamot. Uh, sulfate free shampoo scrub um so this has well again it is well it's cruelty free and vegan if that matters to you it is formulated without phthalates 
sulfate cleanser silicones parabens dyes um, it has organic coconut oil it's infused with charcoal which is known for detoxifying it uses coconut husk and naturally derived menthol for a deep cool and clean so i struggle with really greasy roots in my hair i feel like i have to wash my hair all the time so i've been looking for products or different things that i can do to just help like clean my scalp hoping that that will like help alleviate some of the oiliness so I don't know we'll give this a try I'm going to wash my hair with this tonight so fingers crossed and then the last thing this is something else I've never bought before but I got some press on nails <laughs> these are from impress and um, let's see if we can get that I could not find ones in a color scheme that I liked that did not include the glitter ones. I'm not going to use the glitter ones. I think I saw these in like someone's YouTube video. It might have been Renee Amberg um, who talked about these. Um, I've never used press on nails before but they sound kind of fun and I just didn't want to paint my nails so I don't know. I'm just trying something different with my nails and we will see how these go as well. So I think what I'm going to do now is get changed and walk over to a park um, in my neighborhood and read for a while. Basically just like until I get hungry and have to come home to eat lunch. So I will see you guys a little bit later. So I got changed. It's not super sunny. Actually some cloud cover came in but it's like in the mid 60s which is pretty pretty decent um so I just put on my favorite black jumpsuit this is just like a jersey jersey is that the right material um, jumpsuit that I got at Target last year like on clearance um and then obviously I will put on shoes and then a denim jacket um something to keep me warm if it's chilly but that I can take off if it's not so chilly so i am packing up my bag to go and i'm bringing with me this kombucha i haven't had this brand before this is from fred meyer so kroger um if you're not in an area that has fred meyer it's a kroger store um this is raspberry lemon ginger and like you said i haven't had this one before but this flavor sounds right up my alley and then i am bringing two of the three books that i am reading right now um i figured i'd bring both of them just in case i finished one um so between the World and Me, Ta-Nehisi Coates, and You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. And yeah, I'm just going to share my shoes on now and take them off. ended up going down to a little spot on the riverfront um I've been meaning to go down there and sit there's like benches along the, the riverfront there um I walk by there all the time that's like one of my normal walking routes I never actually just like stopped and hung out there it was a little chilly it was breezy and it was right on the water but um but it was nice I finished my book I finished um between the world and me and it was really good really powerful very dense um but really good i still haven't wrapped my head around my thoughts on the book um overall yet but i i did really enjoy it i finished uploading and posting my blog from last week so that is live on my channel now um you would have already seen that before this video um and then a couple weeks ago a podcast that i listened to called almost 30 which i really recommend um i like it a lot in terms of conversations around like wellness mindfulness that kind of thing from two women who really kind of keep it real um i really like their podcast and they have a bunch of like 
courses and that kind of thing and one of them they were actually offering for free for like a day or two so I actually hopped on that and got access to the course for free I think it's like 30 bucks or something like that um, if you're interested I'll leave it linked down below it's called inner peace and it's exactly what it sounds like it's just a bunch of practices and journal prompts to kind of reach that inner peace that I think a lot of us are often searching for they created it during the pandemic so it's very timely getting to that place of inner peace is something that I'm always struggling with finding and so I'm hopeful that this will be helpful um, the journal prompt so far I got about well it says 44% complete um, I didn't intend to sit down and do the entire uh, course just today um, I started with setting my intentions and then a gratitude practice and then there was a guided meditation which I really haven't meditated before maybe I've tried once or twice um, but I've certainly never done a guided meditation like that and it was really interesting obviously like my mind wandered a little bit but I felt just like really peaceful I'm probably speaking a lot slower and quieter right now than I normally would be because it just really like zened me out kind of in a new way which is I guess kind of the point um but it's a little bit after five now and i'm really hungry so i'm gonna have dinner which feels kind of early but whatever i'm hungry and i'd rather have dinner than like scrounge up a snack so i'm going to do that i have leftovers and then at some point i'm gonna wash this hair <laughs> it's kind of a mess here is someone who never struggles with inner peace <laughs> Oh my god, she's so cute. Oh, I can't even handle it. Oh, this is dinner tonight. I was tempted to order pizza, but I had food at home and I had healthy food at home. So this is leftover from my HelloFresh meal that I made last night and it's chicken breast with kind of a cream lemon sauce and rice with pistachios. Originally, it was like the chicken and the rice were separate, but reheating it on the stove, I just decided to throw it all together um, for leftovers. And there was actually more rice than I remembered having leftovers. So it's kind of a lot, but that's okay. And then I made a big green salad on the side. This is just spring mix, cucumbers, hemp seeds, and sliced green onions, um, which were also left over from my box last night. So I am ready to dig in. This looks so good and will definitely fill me up for the night. I am also watching the first season of Real Housewives of New York. I only started watching this show a couple of years ago, maybe like a year or two ago. And so I haven't watched any of the old seasons. So I'm just starting the whole show from the beginning because I miss Bethany. <laughs> back in my usual spot in the corner of my dining room and I am going to wrap up the vlog here or at least the part where my face is on camera. It's about 7.30 now so I'm feeling tired and I'm ready to just kind of wind down for the day. I am going to hop in the shower now and do my scalp uh, shampoo scrub and then afterward I'm going to do my nails while I watch some TV and then probably just get in bed kind of early and read for the rest of the night. I start my class again this week um, and it's only a four day work week because Saturday is the 4th of July so we are off on Friday so um, it's gonna be a little bit of a busy week. I spent some time planning out my week with my uh, 52 lists planner, which I really love. Um, just getting some stuff on paper for at least the next couple of days and just kind of outlining the week. Um, and so I'm feeling a little less stressed about the week ahead, just knowing what's ahead, the things that I have to do, the things that I want to do, um, and just seeing them on paper just makes it a little bit easier for me to wrap my head around it and not get so like, 
freaked out about all the things that I need to do. So that's it from me for this evening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Cause I don't keep it